Hi, I'm Joshua Farnsworth at Wood & Shop. Today I'm going to show you how to make figured maple pop. Figured maple is a gorgeous wood and it's perfect for bringing attention to your furniture because of the way the translucent waves in the wood reflect the light. But with a quick and easy process using aniline dyes, you can create more contrast and really make the figure stand out. First I start with a sample board cut from the same figured maple board that I'm using to build a piece of furniture. Then I'll sand it up through the grits and stop at 220 grit. Next I get out three different shades of aniline dye. A dark color, either a darkish brown or a black, I prefer brown, a reddish or amber dye, and finally a yellow dye. In this example I'll be using a powder dye. Dyes also come pre-mixed and those work too. There's a couple of good brands that I can recommend and I'll put the names and colors in the description below this video. So to get started, pour a little bit of hot distilled water into these three containers. You don't need much water because of how concentrated this powder is. The dye I use recommends mixing one ounce of powder into one quart of water, but that's a lot for a sample board and for most pieces of furniture. I'll probably just be using an eighth of a teaspoon here with this amount of water. I then stir each solution with a small stick from the same board so I can see if the dye is strong enough. That way I don't have to worry about measuring. Let the dyes dissolve for about 10 minutes before using them. Before wiping the dye on, I dampen the wood with a little bit of water to help the dye penetrate more evenly. I use a balled up rag cut from an old t-shirt. Then I apply the dark brown dye first. It really doesn't matter how you apply it since I'll be sanding it off. I let the dark dye dry for around 15 to 20 minutes. You can see how the dye has penetrated the wood, especially the figure. Then I use a block to sand the surface of the board with 220 grit sandpaper. I keep sanding until I can only see the dark dye in the figure. Then I repeat the whole process with the reddish dye. The wood looks pretty crazy at this point, but don't worry, it'll mostly be sanded away. But if you want your furniture to look like a tiger, then by all means, stop right here. But if orange isn't your style, then keep watching. I next add some warmth to the wood by following the same process for applying the yellow dye. However, this time I don't sand after applying the dye unless my dye concentration was too strong. At this point I leave the board to dry for several hours or until the next day. Once the board's dry, I use another cotton rag to rub in a very small amount of boiled linseed oil. The linseed oil will add some more depth and translucence to the wood figure. After just a minute or two, I wipe the linseed oil off the board with a clean cotton rag. Then I apply a clear top coat. As you can see here, it brings a nice wet contrast to the wood and makes the figure pop.
I've also done variations on this process where I only used the dark brown dye, which gave me a nice figured and aged walnut look, like a piece of furniture that's sat by a window for a while and lightened up. Well, I hope you liked this video and I'd love to hear what methods you've used to finish figured maple and other figured woods. So just comment below and feel free to share some pictures of maple furniture that you've built on my forum. You can click up there somewhere to visit the forum. If you want to see more videos from me, click the subscribe button down there and select the bell so you can be notified when I've posted a new video. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in woodworking with a mix of hand tools and power tools, visit my website at woodandshop.com where you can find a bunch of free woodworking lessons, workshop tours of amazing woodworkers, and our very popular tool buying guides. Make sure you subscribe to my free newsletter and check out my 10 steps for getting started in woodworking. Enjoy!